Hey guys, um, today I want to talk to you guys about um, parenting issues that um, arise when the parents are not together. Basically, like child support and visitation issues. Um, I got a phone call yesterday from one of my um, friends, one of my really good guy friends. Um, we've been friends for probably about uh, probably about six or seven years now. Yeah, five or six, six or seven, something like that. And he was calling me, and he was just pretty much checking up on me, and I was asking what was going on with him and how was the situation with his son um, because I knew he was having some visitation issues with the baby's mom. Well, we started talking, and this has been an ongoing issue with this woman since he had the baby. Long story short, He's married, okay. Um, he was married when he met her. She didn't know he was married when she met him. He was separated from his wife. He that's when he met her during the separation period, and they ended up um, having a baby. Well, they didn't work out, and he went back. He ended up getting back with his wife. So, but um, even with that happening, he has tried to be a part of his son's life this entire time. <sighs> this woman has really like it like what she's doing is like really making my brain boil to a certain extent because he was he was giving her a lump sum payment every month for child support just proactively on his own giving her money and he was taking care of whatever needs that his son could possibly have. Well, she decides, oh, I'm going to put him on child support. You're not going to talk to me no any kind of way, and this is not going to... Basically, she got mad. She's upset because she can't be with him. He's married, and he's decided to work things out with his wife and not be with her. So she got upset, and she goes and put him on child support. Of course, child support orders less than what he was initially giving her. So you pretty much did your son an injustice in my opinion because you had some you have someone that's proactively trying to be a part of his life. Well they got the child support in order, which is fine and that was fine with him and he still continues to do an addition to for his son. Then the visitation issue started. Oh you can't see him today. Oh I don't want him at your house. Oh I don't want him you know around your other kids. He has other kids. She don't, okay. So he's having to pick him up on this day and then take him right back home. He can't stay overnight. He can't do this. Just all this stuff making it hard for this man to be a part of his son's life. So they go to court. Lawyer fees out of his pocket, meaning less money in hers. That's the way I see it. Um, and they do the court order for the visitation. Well, of course, she doesn't follow through with the visitation. So they're back in court. She's held in contempt of court for keeping him away from his son and ordered to pay his court fees. Well, she still doesn't want to do the visitation. She wants to have an issue with every little thing. He got a scratch when he was at his house because he was playing with his sister and brother. She calls DCF and says that he's not taking care of his children. So they come and open a Department of Children and Families investigation on his family and have to pull his kids and talk to his kids at 7 o'clock in the morning because the son has already told her and everybody else, even the DCF worker, we were just playing. You know, I was playing with my sister and brother, and this is what happened. But, of course, because she called, they have to take it seriously, and they have to do that. This man is a firefighter. This can affect his job. This can affect him getting promotions, which in turn affects you getting assistance with your son. So if he can't get any promotions and he can't further his career, he's not going to be able to really provide for you the way he'd like to provide for you. Women don't think about that. They just are selfish and stupid. My thing is you need to think about the well-being and welfare of your child and stop worrying about the fact that you and that man didn't work out and move the move on. Take a dose of wake the up. Okay? Just
take a heavy dose of that and then you'll be okay. Because the reality of the situation, you're making it harder for you in the long run. So it just really irks my nerves and pisses me off that she's putting him through all this stuff. And this manager, I would, do you know what I would have given for that three years ago? I, I, I'll just give you some background. I was married for 13 years. My ex-husband cheated on me, had a baby outside of our marriage. We separated. Well, we, we separated. And then we divorced. Okay? Because he had that baby, when that baby was born, he forgot he had two other kids. He allowed the female he was with to manipulate his mind. And he didn't want to be a part of their lives. That was the biggest issue that I had with him. I, I didn't have the issue. My biggest issue wasn't the financial. It was the fact that he didn't want to be a part of his kid's life. Yes, I put him on child support. That's because he wasn't proactively doing anything for them. So he has court order child support. But at the same token, I am at the point to where I don't care. The check or the deposit, whatever, the money is not as big of an issue as him being in their lives. He decided to become active in their lives. Uh, probably late last year, he decided to become proactive to a certain extent. But actually, early this year, I think in March, he finally got it and decided to start becoming more active and doing for his kids the way he should have been. Do you know how happy I am about that? He can have five or seven days a week if he wants to because it takes the stress off of me, which you hear all these women complaining about, I can't get a break, I can't get a break, and then some of them have the father that's over there that's willing to give them that break and take on the responsibility of being that parent that's uh, carrying the load to give you a break and you don't want to take it because you're too bent out of shape because you can't have that man that's just stupid just really stupid to me but I, I just I just don't get it like why would you even go through all that think of it in the long run a long term sense okay I got this man over here that's willing to take the weight off my shoulders so I can get a break this girl's a full-time student in nursing. She's trying to establish a nursing career and stuff. And you're complaining about, I got to put him in daycare. When well, you don't even have to put him in daycare if you would work your visitation out with your baby's father. That would save you a headache. That would save you time. And even if he had to go to daycare, he's willing to provide the daycare and pay for daycare. But you are too selfish to accept it. You're stupid. <sighs> okay, I digress. I'm so sorry, y'all. But I just had to vent about that. I just hate dumb mothers. Dumb mothers. They're just stupid. I just, I really, it just burns me up when you have a good father. He may not be a good man for you. But he's doing his job as a father and you treat him like crap and you, I mean, come on. The irony behind that is just, it's just so stupid. And then you got the nerve to complain about you can't get a break. You can't get a break because you don't want one. You're just stupid. But that's all I had to say today. I just kind of had to vent and get that off my chest because when he called me, he was just like, I just give up. He was like, I just give up because she keep taking me back and forth. And she even went to the extent of trying to put a restraining order on him saying that he threatened her on the phone. The judge laughed at her and the whole thing because it was just stupid. He was at work around his co-workers. They witnessed the whole conversation. He didn't threaten her. He never threatened her. She just want to cause issues. Yeah, and she did not get her restraining order, and she had to pay his lawyer's fees for bringing against him a petty, stupid case. Just hurting herself. So that's $500 of lawyer's fees that you got to pay for him that you could have had in your pocket to take care of your child. How stupid can you be? <sighs> okay, I'm done venting for today, guys. Thanks for taking the, <laughs> the time to watch. And um, I, 
had to get that off my chest because it kind of burnt me up a little bit. Bye. I'll talk to you guys again later.